اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In this session, we are going to look into how to perform data analysis using Smart PLS when we have a reflective, a reflective higher order construct in our model. Let's assume I've got a construct, internal service quality, that has four dimensions, that is reliability, assurance, empathy, and responsiveness. And I'm interested in assessing its impact on organizational performance. And let's say I've got a mediator as well, and that is organizational commitment or collaborative culture. Now, I've got three other constructs, constructs or two other constructs that are simple lower order constructs. They do not have any higher order construct or they do not have any sub dimensions. I've got one construct, which is my IV, for instance, that has got four sub dimensions. So what will be my first step if I've got a reflective, reflective higher order construct in my study? Now, my model is simply internal service quality influencing organizational performance, this variable here, through organizational commitment. Now, my IV internal service quality has four dimensions, so I'm not just going to add it like this here. Let's say, for example, it has four dimensions with this many items. I'm not going to add it like this. First of all, each dimension of internal service quality added separately. So I validate the constructs or the lower order constructs first. Reliability, assurance, empathy, and finally responsiveness. The four dimensions of internal service quality added. Moving on, let me select all these, put them on the left side here. here. Now my mediator, which is a lower order construct, let's say organizational commitment. And then my DV, which is organizational performance. Yeah. Now I'm going to link them. Organizational commitment here. Now this is my IV with four sub dimensions. Now I don't have internal service quality as one construct right now. So what I'll do is I link each one of them to the other variables that I intend to link it to as a higher order or when I want to link internal service quality with other constructs. So all the sub dimensions of internal service quality will be linked with all the other variables that I intend to assess the relationship with. Now here it is. All done. Now I've got all my constructs, internal service quality with four dimensions organizational commitment op they are lower order constructs now for step one validate all these constructs calculate pls scm algorithm start now again i've explained it previously uh, the playlist of smart pls will be shared the first thing that you do is look at your outer loadings and well, this is low low but will I delete it? Let's look at construct reliability and validity. No, I won't delete any of the items because my reliability and validity is all good. The reliability over 0 0.70, the convergent validity over 0 0.50. Discriminant validity, again all good. This is slightly low, less than 0 0.90, but these two actually belong to the same higher order constructs. That's why it is slightly higher but less than 0 0.90 is fine now all my constructs at lower order are valid now i'm going to go to the next step that is validating the higher order construct that is internal service quality so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come here latent variables and i'm going to export this score or create file let me call it higher order 
reflective reflective and let's create go back go back yes and i'm going to duplicate this model step two Now that I have validated the lower order constructs, I'm going to validate the higher order construct. So where is the higher order construct? Here it is. Look at this. Here it is. Now see, we've got composite scores for all these constructs. Now what, what's happening is I'm going to delete these four here. And now I'm going to model the higher order construct that, it in, that is internal service quality, which is actually assurance empathy reliability and responsiveness all of them in here now look at this the constructs have now become items for the higher order construct of internal service quality and it is reflective reflective so the arrows are actually pointing in the right direction and i'm going to link it now look at this this is the actual model i was interested in testing but again there are steps that one should follow now I have to validate this higher order construct. How to do this? Since it says reflective, reflective, we are going to use the same approach. Calculate PLS SCM algorithm. Start. Check for outer loadings. All good. Now you do not need to report these again because you've already validated the lower order construct. So you only report these when you are validating the higher order construct. Reliability and validity. I just need to report this. All good discriminant validity well the relationship of isq with others is all good now i have validated the higher order construct as well now the reliability and validity at both lower and higher order is done now i'm going to check for my hypothesis how calculate bootstrapping 10000 is recommended bias corrected one tail because i know the direction of relationships and start Now, if you look here, path coefficients, all the relationships are significant. What about mediation, specific indirect effects and mediation is significant as well. So my relationships or my hypothesis are supported. So this is how you can model reflective, reflective higher order constructs in smart PLS. So we did it right from the basics where we checked the lower order constructs for reliability and validity then we checked the higher order for reliability and validity and finally we assessed the hypothesis thank you very much